Mr. Isaac's tapping? We'll turn it on. Don't forget what you're going to tell us. Okay? No, no. Again, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Pastor Jeff, was, as he was praying, spoke about being men after the Lord's own heart. Being men of, of, of faithfulness. Being men of integrity. I want to read something to you out of Matthew. I want to read to you about two different men. Matthew 14. It's a big contrast between a man after God's own heart and a man who wanted nothing to do with God at all. A man who was steeped in immorality and a man who truly loved God. Matthew 14. When Herod Antipas, the ruler of Galilee, heard about Jesus, he said to his advisors, this must be John the Baptist raised from the dead. That is why he can do such miracles. For Herod had arrested and imprisoned John as a favor to his wife, Herodias, the former wife of Herod's brother, Philip. John had been telling Herod, it is, it is against God's law for you to marry her. Herod wanted to kill John, but he was afraid of a riot because of all the people believed John was a prophet. But at a birthday party for Herod, the Herodias' daughter performed a dance that greatly pleased him. So he promised with a vow to give her anything she wanted. At her mother's urging, the girl said, I want the head of John the Baptist on a tray. Then the king regretted what he said, but because of the vow he had made in front of his guests, he issued the necessary orders. So John was beheaded in the prison, and his head was brought on a tray given to the girl, who took it to her mother. Later, John's disciples came for his body and buried him, and they went and told Jesus what had happened. So we have here two men. We have Herod Antipas, who is the son of Herod the Great. Herod the Great has passed and died. And the country of Israel has been divided into provinces. And Herod Antipas has been put in charge as governor over the region known as Galilee. Herod Antipas is a man who is, 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 is a man who is not is an apple who has not fallen too far from the tree. His father was an evil man, and so is Herod Antipas, a very evil man. As you've heard me say in reading the scriptures, he is a man who's taken his brother's own wife and made, made her his wife. He is a man who is not well liked at all. You say he's evil. He's known for many great evil deeds. He's killed a great number of people himself. And in taking his brother's wife as his own wife, another man of integrity, John the Baptist, approaches Herod and says, you've done what is wrong. It is against God's law. John the Baptist is a man after God's own heart. He is a man who has taken a stand for God. He is a man of integrity. He is a man who's looked upon in some circles as Elijah because of how he's walked in his integrity. A man who loves God. And it cost John his life, making that stand. Now, I don't know if anyone here could fault John if we would have said to him, if, if, if we lived at that time, John, you know, why don't you keep your mouth shut? And at the very least, John, this is 
cause you to be in prison. You know, it's Herod, it's his life, you know, listen. Mind your business. But understand who Herod's talking to. He's, I mean, excuse me, understand who John the Baptist is talking to. He's talking to a man of influence. As Herod goes, so does that region go. There are people known as Herodians. Herodians are the, the aristocracy of, of the time, rich people. You have a lot of influence and power because Herod is in that, 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 that family line of Herods. And John the Baptist is saying, listen, Herod, you know, as, as you go, this, this part of this country goes. You have a great influence over this country. You know about God's law. It's not a mystery to you. And you're violating the law of God. And John the Baptist is making a stand for God. He is a man after God's own heart. And as I'm reflecting upon that scripture, I'm looking at my own life. I'm looking at my own life and as a man who is in the construction business, there are many times when my own integrity is tested. My own love for God is tested. And there are times when I have to speak up and say no. That's not 